Welcome to HodgePodge Australia. Today I am making this Zum Zum Goofy cake. Now I'm not sure if you know what Zum Zums are, but there are these really cute little stuffies made out of Disney characters and I am doing this cake based on Goofy. So I have started with two semi-circle cakes which you use using the Wilton pan to do the ball cake. So ball cake pan. Then I have trimmed off the bottom of one to make it sit nice and flat on a cake board. I am then layering it with some buttercream and then I'm going to crumb coat the entire cake. So make sure you press all of that icing into the joins so that you have one lovely nice smooth ball. Get your crumb coat all the way over that cake and as smooth as possible and then pop that in the fridge to set before we cover it with some fondant. Something a little bit different today, I have split screen so you can see from the front and you can see from the top, but this is how you cover a ball cake with fondant. Make sure you roll out the colour, and I'm using black because Goofy is predominantly black in his face. Make sure you roll out a really big slab of fondant because you want to be able to put that all the way over the ball cake and then just smooth out the bottom. You don't want to have to be trying to pull it down, but like a round cake, you're going to be wanting to pull the fondant down as you go to pull out any ruffles so if you find that it's starting to fold just pull it out a little bit and smooth it down it takes a little bit of time be patient with this but it's actually not as hard as I thought it was going to be so stick with it it's it, it is doable then it's time to cut out the ears so just roll out some more black fondant and freehand cut out a couple of ears we know what Goofy's ears look like then put them off to the side with a little bit of tissue underneath just to give them a little of bent out shape because you don't want them sitting flush with the head then you can move on to his snout so I have some ivory colored fondant which I've just made into an oval shape and I'm just going to press that onto the bottom of his face to make his snout then we grab a ball of black fondant and we're going to roll that into a proper ball and stick that on the front forming it out into his nose and already he's coming together and I think I just love that nose. I don't know, it's just a little bear nose. It's so cute. Next, let's add our ears onto our goofy head. So just take your ears and press them gently onto your ball head. Smooth it out a bit so obviously those ears look like they belong on that head and they haven't been tacked on. It's then time to add on our eyes. So just rolling out a little bit of white fondant. Straighten out the edge as best as possible so you have a nice smooth straight bottom and then I find it's easiest just to put it on the cake and measure out where I want it to end so I need the white to come to the edges of the snout and the height I want the curves of the eyes to be and then I'm just going to freehand cut that out again using the image of the goofy sum sum plush as my guide on what the eyes look like it's I can't even really describe what that shape is to me looking at it upside down this way it kind of looks a bit like a butt and that's not great, but that might be the shape you're going for. Anyway, place those, that white fondant cut out onto your cake and smooth it out. Once you have it on there, you can really make sure that you're happy with it and you can make any little trims that you need to just to even up the edges. It always helps to come around the front and have a look at it. That's the thing about making these cakes on camera for you is I'm doing them back to front, so I need to come around and check my handiwork every now and then. So I'm just going to even up that side, make sure I posh push the white fondant down so that it is flush with his snout and then we're going to just grab another piece of black fondant roll it into a ball cut it in half and pop on his eyes make sure they're sitting down on the snout they look a bit funny if you have them up too high so pop them down on this snout moving on to the hat get some green fondant I have actually made this green fondant by using some green and some yellow coloring and then I have just twisted it into a bit of a toadstool shape. Then getting another piece of green fondant, I'm going to flatten that out and place it just at the top of one of his ears. Adding on the top part of the hat that we made earlier, we're going to smooth that out and make sure we have the shape that we want. And then just finish it off with a little bit more black fondant rolled out into a snake shape and rolled around the base of the hat so he has his little band on. And that is the Goofy Tsum Tsum cake based on the lovely Tsum Tsum Disney plush toys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do subscribe. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Comment if you'd like to see something else similar to this. It's Disney all month and we'll see you again real soon.